Alliances mean not. Family means not. Was Partia still the naive young fool, same as all those years ago? Or was he simply getting blinded by his old age and wishful thinking? Kaladog has shown he cares not for the sanctity of marriage, and the Ashkas now find themselves paying a tribute to keep the warmongering curs at bay. With any luck, this peace will last long enough for the East to be won, and then Partia can seek vengeance for the betrayal. And what of Karain? She remains safe with the Ishkas, under the protection of the Sultan's own brother, of course. No ill will is wished upon her for the actions of her kin, and perhaps she can prove her loyalty to the people in the war against the Imperials of the Western Empire. A war on two fronts seems unavoidable, and the conspiracy continues to haunt the Sultan. Once more, the Ishkas are beset by enemies, and the Sultan is forced to choose between his responsibilities. For there can be no more than a moment's rest for kings and emperors. Hey everybody, it's Party Elite. Welcome back to the chapter of the adventures of Partia al Eat in Bannerlord. There can be no peace. There can be no tranquility. War is never ending, if not from one realm, then another. The Batanian betrayal has turned our hero sour and Partia realizes that the only guarantee of unity and peace is not through alliances, marriages, and kind words, but through bent knees and conquered lands. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Banner. This is going to be a very interesting session. We are currently in three wars. The war against the Khazate, of course, that's been going on for quite some time. The war against the Western Empire that has begun relatively recently. And the war against time. This conspiracy continues to grow stronger and stronger. And it's coming very close to triggering. And I do not want what happens next to happen. 19 days to get up to Of Castle. 19 days to eliminate this base. I'm not sure how much conspiracy strength is gained when, uh, when one of these is missed. I'm not sure how much conspiracy strength is reduced when one of these is accomplished, but we're cutting it very close. So I think we do in fact have to prioritize the situation at Of Castle. 19 days, it'll be enough. It'll be enough to get up here. It'll be enough to tackle the situation up here. Unfortunately, it means that we cannot afford any distractions. We, we have to make more or less a beeline to Of Castle. Minor distractions, maybe. If a small battle you know, pops up, an opportunity to, to destroy an army or something on the way over to, to stop some Western Empire army from you know, putting something under siege, sure. But sieging a settlement of our own, you know, taking Cyronia or Melian Castle or what have you, it's not going to be an option. I did see some suggestions of maybe doing that. Maybe there's enough time to at least get one holding before we rush up to Of Castle. And uh, my fear, my concern there is that that uh, desire to, to, to conquer might prevent us from being able to help elsewhere if an emergency comes up. And I want to make sure that we have that option available. With all that said, let's put the talking aside and begin some acting, shall we? First order of business is actually to get down to Anira over here and see if we can't pick up some recruits. Uh, and yeah, we're, we're, we're actually not going to pick up Korain right now, I think. Um, and I'll, I'll explain that later today or maybe in a, in a, in a separate session, but uh, like next session. But I, I really want to beeline up over here, so we're going to be disbanding our army anyway. And I don't necessarily want Korain running around on her own. I'm a little concerned. I'm a little concerned. Now, as we head to Anira, I do want to touch on something that I'm sure by now you have uh, noticed. Oh, look at that. All these people escaped from captivity. Um, there are some visual issues at the moment. And it is uh, quite unfortunate. I have been trying to figure out why we're getting these extremely strange kind of texture issues. Um, I've tried a multitude of things and I was not able to solve it. There are no gameplay impacts as far as I can tell. Uh, it's not like everybody's a baby. <laughs> it's not like we're fighting babies like that one time. Um, but I do apologize for this. I, per, it, 
it is what it is. I wasn't able to solve it. Hopefully by the time we're recording our next chapter, whatever is causing these glitches has either been patched or I'm able to solve it some other way. But uh, I had to dive in and record today. Otherwise, I would have to postpone this episode. And I really didn't want to do that because we've already seen a couple of delays lately. So uh, I, I thought it would be all right. And I hope uh, I hope it's not too much of a bother. Hopefully it'll just kind of fade into the background as the intensity of this session takes over. 15 Imperial Armed Traders. Don't mind if I do. Okay, good stuff. Um, the garrison over here is not very large, so we will in fact go to the... You know, I feel like Anaira is almost a prime target now. I feel like anything we leave at Anaira will be uh, will be lost. We might be better off riding with those soldiers, you know what I mean? Or if we're... I guess if we're lucky, Karenya Castle might be the new hotspot, kind of like target... I don't know. You know what? We're here now. Let's go ahead and, and leave them here. Go donate troops to the garrison. Let's leave them at Anaira. Yeah, it's not a lot of soldiers, but uh, it'll also help our influence. Ooh, looks like we have a lot of people to level up. Okay, fair fair enough. Uh, Imperial Arm Traders get dropped off over here. You know what? Let's drop these veteran archers off as well. I It might end up being completely useless. If we're lucky, there's enough other... Uh, lands for these um, for the Kuzait to conquer first before they come strike here. Um, so I'm, I'm hoping that the militia will grow and maybe some other uh, vassals will drop some of their own uh, soldiers off as well. I'm I'm hoping that it'll be more than just the you know 17 soldiers I'm leaving behind and the however many are already here right now. Uh, plus this should help me uh, garner some more influence as well, and we uh, we definitely desperately need that now. We get three of you and three of you. They both kind of work pretty well, so let's go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, why am I... Hmm. I'm kind of thrown off by how many upgrades I actually have right now. I feel like I would have noticed that, you know, last session and, 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 and taken care of it. But it is what it is. I'm not going to be upset about uh, having this opportunity over here. So let's go ahead and upgrade all of you. Oh, there's even more. I wonder if some prisoners are willing to join us as well. Seems strange. There has been a new update, which I think is where the... Uh, the visual glitches are coming from, so maybe something about the new update has changed something over here as well. Uh, but we are now on the latest main uh, branch. I, again, I do not use beta branches because I am concerned that at one point it'll all it'll take is uh, uh, you know a, a bug in a beta branch that breaks the save or something like that. So I'm very cautious about that. You know what? I almost wonder if I shouldn't leave all of these guys back here as well. Again, as a uh, sort of in an attempt to get some influence, but also to ensure that they don't get released. Again, if we ransom them, then they're out there. They're out and about, and they're uh, they're forming armies, they're forming parties to, to engage us. If I leave them here, then they might still escape, sure, but they're not slowing us down, and they're actually getting us some influence. I feel like that might not be a bad idea. So actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and go to the dungeon, donate prisoners. Again, I don't know how much influence it'll be, but I'll, I'll take what I can get. I'll take what I can get. Let's go ahead and drop all of you off. We have so many of their... It, it surprises me that they haven't pushed for peace. You know what I mean? That the Kuzate haven't sought peace. They're clearly losing this war. And yeah, they're causing us some hurt from time to time, but they're clearly losing this war. Uh, so from 506, we go up to 569. At least we improve our relations with De Cortain. I don't know how low our relations were to begin with, with De Cortain specifically. Oh man, you know what? I feel like I should have spread those prisoners out a little bit. Damn. Well, good to know. Anyway, we leave Anaira now. No troops. Everybody's already recruited troops. I guess I could pick up some food. We have 46 days worth of food, but it doesn't hurt to check. We're already here. Go ahead and see if there is, yep, some grain to pick up. Leave some behind, of course. Uh, get all the butter here. Pick up some fish. And you can never have too much beer. Yeah, grab some meat as well. You know what, let's, let's, let's grab some olives too. Try and get, uh, let's get all the cheese. Said so let's get all the cheese. There we go. I was going to say, let's try and get this number up to 100. Plus seven food variety. That's the most food variety I've ever had. Uh, and we can drop off some of our like armor and stuff over here. Yeah, why does this... Oh, you know, I, I guess... Uh, I guess I must have fought a battle at the end of last session and then... Yeah, right, we have... Right, right, right. Okay, yeah, not, now, now things are coming together. I must have fought a ba battle that uh, I wasn't able to uh, do all the leveling up and stuff from something. 
If I sound a little thrown off, it's because I, I'll be honest with you, I am a little thrown off. Though the visual glitch in trying to solve it has been, uh, it's been an adventure of its own. Let's put it that way. So I apologize if I seem a little, uh, <laughs> a little out of it. All right, let's go ahead and get, um, well, actually, I guess I want to, do I want to dis, how fast are we right now? 3.2. I feel like 3.2 is fast enough to get up over here. I do want to disband this army, but now I'm kind of wondering if I would rather... You know what? Yeah, we're going to we're gonna keep this army together. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and strengthen a bit further. Uh, because what I will do is... Let's get the hill in here. And let's get Parabard. Let's get Parabard coming as well. And we will leave behind... Well, let's wait until they arrive, and then we'll leave behind like Guzid and Asala or something. Uh, the reason why I would actually like to keep an army with me um, is because if, while I'm headed... This game's going to hurt me this session, isn't it? That was an omen, wasn't it? Uh, the reason why I want to keep an army together is because if I do come across uh, uh, armies as I head up to... Ooh, see, we've got... Aragos Castle is under siege. See, what I'm thinking is maybe... If we, if we, if we head up in this direction and we come across some armies of the Western Empire or of the Khazate, I would like to be able to engage them, right? Because time doesn't actually uh, move forward when you're fighting a battle. So uh, I, I don't want to shy away from that opportunity. I don't want to have to be running away because I'm going in with just my party. Um, Charlie of the Oshkans has been taken prisoner. Okay. Uh, and, and again, our speed. Okay, it's 2.8 now. It's 2.8 now. We're also going through snow and stuff like that. We'll, we'll be fine. 19 days is a long time. We'll be fine. I, I say we travel with the army. We'll, we'll shed some... Uh, as soon as Parabard arrives, we'll, we'll leave some of those guys behind. Uh, Mahir. Are you worth speaking to? The Tigrit. Oh, you are? Oh, you are worth speaking to. Oh, but I'll never catch you. I'll never catch you. I mean, I can try and get closer to him and then... And then we'll see what comes of it. I mean, he's going to be way too fast. Even if I... Uh, yeah, 4.6. Oh, hello. Okay. 4.6. 4.6. I, I wish I could see what my speed would be if I didn't have an army with me. But the fact of the matter is, if I let everybody go right now... You know what? If I let everybody go right now, the fact of the matter is, they would all reach him before me, and then there'd be a battle anyway, and then I would have to spend influence yet again to try and get everybody to, uh, to, to join up. So... I think this is going to be an unfortunate missed opportunity, but uh, this, this has worked out quite nicely. And this is exactly why we've kept this army together. All right. Man, all this like flashing and flickering. Again, I apologize. I tried to solve it for, for today's uh, episode, but I, I, just, I am not able to figure out what the uh, issue is. I will hopefully have it solved uh, by the next episode, though, folks. Um, all right. We're all good. We're all good. Yeah, we're all good down here. Well, quite a few wounded, but I mean, we outnumber this army rather significantly, so I think we'll be okay. This is great. How, how big is this army? One, two, three, four, five nobles in here. That's another five prisoners waiting to be captured. Let's do it. Oh, you're going to run away. Speed of 2.9 versus my 2.9. Chorley. Ooh, Tagan is chasing my party. All right. You wish, buddy. I wonder if I should let someone rush forward. Deal. Because again, I can call him back in for, for no cost of influence, right? Keep giving chase over here. There goes the heel. Wonderful. Buddy, come on. Hey, no. I can't. God, I can't believe it. He'll come back in here, man. This is not ideal. This is not ideal. Because now he's going to lose some troops. Oh, that worked out perfectly, actually. Because <laughs> now at least we can double back and, and deal with that army as well, though we are now 100-and-something soldiers short. We're still fine. We still outnumber this army, I'm fairly certain. But uh, anyway. Partia, it's been a while, he says. You took Karenia Castle from us. You will not forget this. Good, I would rather you don't. You know we are at war. Surrender or die. I have no wish to fight you. <laughs> then surrender. Expect no mercy, he says. Yeah, see that that hundred hundred soldiers could have made uh, significant enough difference. He's got some decent soldiers as well. All right, it's fine. We'll be, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. 
Again, I just don't want to lose momentum, right? Let's go ahead and dive on into the battle here. And hopefully the, uh, the, <laughs> the battlefield itself works in our favor. Very nervous about today's session. And having Ottawa's name pop up like that. Oh, no. Did I not say this episode was going to try and hurt me? I have no idea what I'm looking at over here. This is going to be a hot mess. All right, let's do it. What have we got? Oh, it's, it's, it's this battlefield. Okay. They're over there. Got to get up over here as quickly as possible. Let's go. Archers are coming up over here. Infantry down over there. I don't know if they're going to come towards us. I mean, the horse archers will probably come towards us. So infantry down over there. Archers are coming up over here. Let's get these archers into a loose formation. Uh, let's get our cavalry. Mm. Up over here. Horse archers up over there. Let's go. At least no one's falling to their deaths. Infantry, let's get you into a shield wall. These guys in loose formation? Yeah, they are. Horse archers, let's get you into a loose formation as well. Alright. This is, uh... This is gonna be interesting. I suppose I could scout ahead a little bit. Again, their, their horse archers are probably coming towards us. As they tend to do. Looks like they're moving towards us. Yeah, there they are. Alright, cool. Our cavalry... Back over here. Our horse archers are up over there, so they will hopefully be safe. Relatively speaking, they'll be able to fire down. Ooh, that is a lot of horse archers. 119 horse archers. Are you kidding me? I'm hoping our cavalry will be able to come charging down. Ah, uh, pulling back. That's not good. That's not good. Horse archers, let's move you a little bit further up, please. Why are they pulling back? I might need to be, be like, just a little bit more adventurous this time. Let's go defensive stance might not work for us. Let's uh, let's take the high ground over here and take a look at what the uh, enemy is up to. That is quite that is quite the army. Here they come again. I have to I have to like bait these guys at 119 and 59 more archers back there. This is this is a this is a massive massive ranged cavalry contingent. Go back a little bit. They're firing at us. Our own horse archers are firing back as well. Might even send... And I don't want to post up too far forward because we'll probably see uh, reinforcements arriving out of position. That's not ideal. Cavalry into a wedge here. You guys are coming through. Archers back up over there. I just need the archers to be able to... Oh, looks like our Valenian crossmen are getting some work done. So that's promising. Horse archers, you're not able to fire from up over here? Yeah, you are. Just not scoring any hits right now. You know what? I feel like we have to push a little bit further up. Alright. Infantry. Get you... Up over here. Uh... The command can be given. Here. Hmm. So, archers. Up over there, let's go. Cavalry up over there. I'm not loving the situation, but adaptability is uh, is important in general. Get you guys into a line formation so you move a bit quicker. Their horse archers are now staying back. Nope, I see some movement there. Okay, great. Hopefully this has baited them out. Infantry, let's get you back into a shield wall. Archers are almost in position. That does not look like a loose formation, man. Loose formation. This mount, if it's having that old problem from so long ago. Horse archers are coming through, yep. The cavalry up there. Oh, see, there we go. That's, that's a loose formation. That's a loose formation. Yeah, some of you identified that. Uh, you mentioned in the comments that, like, uh, one of the battles last session, our archers weren't actually in loose formation. And I thought as much as well, but I was like, no, the, the order had been given, and, and the icon showed appropriately, but uh, I guess it was a dismount problem. Okay, though, wow, these guys are really playing it cautious, eh? Okay, fair enough, fair enough. The reason why this is so uh, troubling is that they are so numerous. Cover a little bit further up. 
archers up over here. They should be able to fire. I, I, I don't want them to bait me too far out of position. They've already taken me farther out than I would like. Cavalry, let's go. I don't know if our archers will be able to fire anytime soon. Okay, good stuff. Good stuff. Horse archers are doing okay. Let's move. Let's move. Ah, that hesitation has, has cost me. Cost me this round. Got a couple of kills in there, though. Slowly dwindling their numbers. we able to fire from over here, but like minimal accuracy. Let's move up a little bit more. Well, waste ammunition. So let's go. See if we can't bait them out a little bit further. I'm trying to figure out exactly what they might be willing to chase, you know? Alright, able to fire from up over here. Let's let's get ourselves up over here. Better vantage point, I think. Because again, it's not like they're going to... Ooh, you dropped Chagan. That's good. It's not like they're going to want to dive into melee themselves. Got a good, valuable kill there. Oh, this is... uh. That rider got back on a horse. Or sorry, just keep moving forward. <laughs> keep saying I don't want to get baited out, but here we are. Fire away, come on now. Must have the better quality troops. See our shots coming through. There we go. We are getting some kills. A few more now, come on. Sorry about that. Edit there. Yeah. The, uh, fire alarm had some very unfortunate timing. <laughs> but we're okay. We're okay. Hopefully that hasn't broken my concentration too much and we will still uh, win this battle. I am, uh, okay, I I'm, I'm growing ex exceedingly concerned about the uh, enemy's unwillingness to, uh, to venture forth. I feel like I drove their uh, horse archers even further back. I was hoping to present myself is a juicy target. Oh, actually, you know what? This is okay. That worked out nicely. A couple of shots over there as they were filtering through. Yeah, I was hoping to present myself as a juicy target to bait them out, but instead I feel like I maybe scared them further back. Now I have to be wary that this is gonna turn ugly real quick here. Doing all right. Bring my cavalry back now. Nah, see, they, they just about come up to here and then they decide to pull back. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Try and set up a, a bit of a trap over here. Bring our cavalry up over here. Again, it's 49. Oh, hello. <laughs> Only 49 horses. That's not a lot. Oh, this might be working. Pull these guys back. Let's go. I'm going to try and box these guys in. And the riders down here. Arch. Go for it. Go for it. Get our glaive out. Come on. Cut across. Cut across. Cut across. Couple of kills. Good stuff. Horse archers come back up. Alright, alright. That wasn't too bad. Pull back up. We want to make sure we don't get uh, shot up now. Alright. A little bit of movement back there as well. They're doing something with their cavalry. Horse archers are trained back around. If I could just bait them all the way back to my archers, I'd have a wonderful time. Come on, I'm pulling you back over here for a reason. Keep pulling back. Let's go. We're okay. We're okay. Our horse archers are getting some work done as well. Oh, am I seeing some aggression? You know what? Looks like it. All right, let's pull back. Horse archers up there. Cavalry up there. Let's go. Quickly now. Try and ride against the, the tide there for a moment. Definitely pulled them out, it looks like. Alright. Cavalry pulling back. Horse archers pulling back. This is good. This is great. We need to make sure we don't get caught out of position. Ruma has been taken down. Excellent. Pull these horse archers even further back. I don't again I don't want to be caught out of position over here. This should be good. Cavalry up over there. Oh man. That's a lot of them. Archers, are you able to fire now? You should be. Cavalry. I've been told that the advanced command works 
better than the charge command at times. So we're going to try that. Dive in. They supposedly maintain their formation a bit better, so hopefully. Okay, seeing some work done there. Our archers are definitely got some work, getting some work done as well. That's good. Oh, come on. We have the horse archers cornered up there. Doing okay, doing okay. Archers firing away. Excellent. Their cavalry is coming in to respond. A little outnumbered, but the horse archers are being taken care of. Pull our cavalry back. Dangerous spot to keep them in. Infantry. Advance. Archers still firing away. Stuff. Cavalry is pulling back now. Come on. Quickly now, quickly. Horse archers. Pull back over there. Because their archers are having a field day. Infantry is doing alright. Cavalry turn back around. Alright, infantry is doing okay. Yeah, mowing them down. Good stuff, good stuff. I might need to engage the uh, archers myself. Cavalry come through with me. I'm going to take some risks. Oh god. Of course I get hit as I say that. Quite badly as well. This is not good. Too many risks. Too many risks. Time to pull back. Cavalry charge. I need to stay alive. If I die, then this battle is gone. How did I miss that guy? Let's go, let's go. Keep moving, keep moving. Infantry's doing alright. Cavalry pull you back again. Archers. Advance. Gotta keep them in range as well. Oh, 103 archers back there. Cavalry is pulling back. Okay, excellent. Infantry. Hang tight over here. Archers. Stay up there. Cavalry come back over. Or rather, infantry come back over here. We need to pull back. The reinforcements are coming, and that is uh, extremely dangerous for us. 103 archers. Okay, pull back, pull back. We're good. Infantry. Fine. Got to moving a bit quicker. Archers are engaging in a bit of melee over here, but our Valandian sharpshooters are doing wonderfully. Okay, good stuff. Back into a shield wall. Put down their horse archers up there. Let's go. Right in myself. Oh, you know what? I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. Our archers will do the job. Cavalry's having a rough time. Ooh, this guy's getting adventurous himself. Down he goes. Excellent. Cavalry pull further back. Giving the archers the advance command. 24 horses, that is not ideal. Infantry, charge. Try and take some losses over here. This is the problem with the advance command on archers, is they also retreat in a way that I would like them not to. Okay, infantry charging forward. Archers hopefully getting into position. Playing a very scary game over here with these Kazate soldiers. Doing alright. Come on, men. Come on, men. Stand and fight. Nice. Oh, still took a hit there myself as well. Archers are doing alright. Archers, charge. Again, our Valanian crossbows can, can do a fair bit of damage in, in melee as well. They have quite a few archers, and we need to shut those archers down. We are taking some serious losses. Deaths and wounds. Decently done. Four horse archers left. Our infantry, as you can see, is taking a fair bit of hurt here. A lot of deaths. Alright, we've done alright. Seems as they're fleeing. Their archers are being completely... Completely obliterated. Okay, excellent. I'm a little concerned about how many we lost over here. Not just how many, but who. Good stuff. Oh, took a risk. Took a risk. Gotta get out. Go. Oh, excellent. Ooh. Temptation. That rock damn near caused my death. But we're okay. Honestly, I'm kind of tempted to... I was going to say I'm kind of tempted to just let them run away, as opposed to chase them to the uh, to the edge. 
Cavalry. No, stay back. We've we've taken enough uh taken more than enough damage. Yeah, that's why I try to avoid the advanced command on archers. It's same as uh if you watch any of my like total war uh gameplay, I, I turn off skirmish mode for my archers because they tend to retreat prematurely, in my opinion. They tend to pull back a little bit earlier than I would have them pull back. And so they uh they expose their backs, they start eating shots, they start getting uh run down and they're on foot and the enemy's on horseback and you know who's gonna win that race uh and, and that's why i prefer not to use the advanced command in uh in, in in banner lord either specifically on archers um and I, I don't know i don't know what drove me to do at that time it did i think it cost us a little bit but it's not the end of the world on the cavalry though i feel like maybe the advanced command did in fact make uh, a positive difference there so uh yeah thank you for that suggestion i I've always been, it's always been suggested to use the uh, charge command. Uh, it's also previously been suggested to use the move command instead to give a more kind of directional charge, so to speak. But uh, obviously, with the game being updated, it uh, I'm, I'm sure that changes from time to time. Nice. I am very pleased to have killed that recruit. <laughs> well done, man. Well done. Look at all these arrows I've taken. Oh, that one must really hurt. I mean, they almost really hurt. I can't imagine. <laughs> I don't. I don't want to have to ever imagine. Rather, I'm happy just imagining, I should say. Well done, man. Oh, the battle's technically still not over. You know, for the chaos at the beginning, I feel like that went pretty well. For all the chaos at the beginning, for all the baiting back and forth, I would say that went uh, that went pretty well. Especially with the interruption. That always throws me off. It's just like... I don't want to lose my uh, my focus. This guy is firing away from over here. What are you trying to hit, man? What are you trying to hit? Oh, is there somebody up over here? Oh no! Don't do. Don't 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 tell me. Don't tell me somebody's like bugged up over there and can't be killed, and so this battle will never end. It certainly looks like our soldiers are kind of bugging out over here. All right. Give everyone the charge command. Maybe somebody will find a way. Come on now. Go. Balled him out. Yep. Alright, we'll we'll get there. We'll get there. This is not ideal. I'm extremely low on health. And we Okay, okay. Curious if I should use the glaive, sword, and shield. Oh, okay. Strange. I'm gonna say it'd be nice to have Valden do the honors. Okay. <laughs> there it is. Well done, man. Well done. Beautiful. Yikes. Oh no. Another one. Yana has died on the battlefield. This is new as well. We earn a percentage of the loot. Now I don't know if it was always like this and it just wasn't a, a number that was exposed to us as the player or if this is a new thing, but uh, we only earn a percentage of the loot and prisoners now. Uh, which is, yeah, fair enough, that makes sense. I assume it's based on contribution of, of parties and whatnot. 123 died. That is not an insignificant number. Yeah, things went a little sideways at times. 155 wounded, but 150 leveled up. So, you know, it, I guess it balances out. We lost some brigands, some highwaymen, some hired blades, imperial infantries, some legionaries here and there. Okay, you know, this, this is not a bad spread of losses, actually, for our own party, at least. Ooh, this I like less. Three Valandian knights. Two Valanian sergeants, four Valanian vulgars, three swordsmen. That hurts. Our, once more, our infantry needs to be replenished beyond anything else. I'm not a big fan of some of these losses, I'll be honest. Well, it is what it is. Again, as, as was mentioned in the past, the more high-tier soldiers we have, the more high-tier soldiers will die in battle. We're done here. This battle is won, and that's what matters. That is another five, well... Four nobles, I suppose, taken prisoner, and one that has been eliminated. Er, good? Mahir, enough! I am your prisoner. I can pay a ransom. 
I am worth more to you alive than dead. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, man. You're my prisoner now, indeed. You are at my mercy, of course. Tagan as well. Oh, what does this say? I wish this... I'd like to be able to read this right away, you know? I give up! I give up! Call back your dogs! Oh, okay. That's... That's just rude. Are indeed at my mercy. Honoratus. I yield, I believe he says. You're my prisoner now. Added some new uh, lines, it looks like, with this update. 136 prisoners, but I assume I cannot even sustain the prisoners I have on hand right now. Yep. That is precisely the case. So we need to leave maybe some behind so valuable ones don't escape. Oh, uh, man. Do I really want to leave 30 or so behind? Are there any valuable ones to pick up? Okay, there's the Torgud, the Darkan. There is... I guess that's fine. I mean, there's there's quite a few actually higher tier soldiers here. And these guys are not messing around. They do they do still have uh, a decent supply of decent quality soldiers. I believe we talked about this uh, last session where there must be some holdings where they're able to quickly access uh, extremely high quality um, extremely high quality troops right off the bat with high relations and things like that. We're going to leave behind some freebooters and, and forest bandits and whatnot. We have a lot of uh, fan champions and freebooters and force bandits in our army already and this will just add even more like we've got 16 fan we've got 14 fan and and where are our fan champions like we, we got we got numbers we got 26 fan champions like i feel like we can let some of those i know this is like sacrilege but we can let some of those lower tier soldiers go um so that we can take on some you know maintain some of our prisoners look at that look, look at that we got 18 look at that man we got so many yeah we're fine Fine, we can we can leave some of them behind. Lots of leveling up over here. This is good. This is good. Um, mercenary guard, I suppose. Or probably leave you behind as a garrison somewhere later on. Anyway, we'll call this up. We got the uh, highwayman because again, this gives us the uh, Valandian banner knight for sure. Valandian infantry with you. Hired blades. Okay, good stuff. All right. So how many more do we need to get rid of? We're at 142. Oh my god. Quite a few, actually. Leave behind this bushwhacker. The more freebooters. We're at 36. We can leave behind some Kazakh marksmen. In fact, let's leave behind all the Kazakh marksmen and instead take back some of the forest bandits, I suppose. Sure. 127. You know what? I'm, I'm fine with that. We could be balancing prisoners for days. I'm fine with that. This army was no joke. This army was actually uh, a bit more capable than I was expecting. But this victory means that this army no longer exists, and so uh, that works out. Pick up all the loot, of course. Capacity exceeded, really? Oh man, okay. Interesting. Go ahead and uh, reset that then. Is the capacity exceeded right off the bat? When did we... Oh, because we don't have as many uh, soldiers. Maybe some horses died as well. Oh, that's a problem. That's a problem. Okay, we're done here. I could travel up to Mysia and, and trade some stuff, and, and that way it would work out, I think. Yeah, I think that's fine. We'll be slow only for a little while. Only for a little while. Yana has died in battle. Let's pay our respects. For the Kurgit. Wow. Wow, this clan has... Wow. This is like... This is like Asura responding to the betrayal from earlier. Yana was a begum of the Kuzate. She died in battle in 1105 at the age of 43. She was reputed to be fierce and cruel. Very well, very well. I can't believe it. Anta is the only one left. And Nokan is... Wow. That's crazy. That's wild to see how how this uh, clan has like just been absolutely destroyed. Uh, okay, up over here, right? We still have this battle ongoing. We should definitely step in and assist with this. Losing numbers over here, otherwise needlessly. I will send the troops in for this one. Help deal for sure. Send the troops in. It's a small battle. Won't be too difficult. We lost. We wounded. It works out. Barton, beg. I yield. You have won. Curse be this day. I'm my prisoner now. Indeed, you are at my mercy. And, oh, nice. Some more troops to pick up. 
no reason not to pick them all up. Go for it. And some more prisoners to pick up as well. Do we have room? Barely. Barely, but they might be worth it. <laughs> more forest bandits and all that. No. Ah, uh, you know what? I think we're okay. Guess we get a lancer, a heavy horse archer. I say after saying I think we're okay. All right, now we're okay. Let's move on. All done here. Up to Isaiah. We're, all, we're already over capacity. We might as well pick up more and keep at it. Go to Melian, I suppose. Pick up some recruits for some of our uh, parties in our army. Then we'll move on up to um, Isaiah. Bill has arrived. Okay, good stuff. Down over here. Oh, no recruits available, eh? Any, uh, anything to buy, perhaps? Any food? Not a lot, but I'll take it. I'll take it. Now, the, the one thing that I was really concerned about, and I think I mentioned this last session as well, is Akasur Castle always, always, um, is defended by an army. You know what? There's no point even talking about it. I was going to say, maybe I should come down over here and help Erenix before I... Uh, go up to Of Castle. Like, I wouldn't be surprised. You know that gut feeling you get sometimes? I'm getting that gut feeling. Every time Akasur Castle has been put under siege, uh, the army that was putting it under siege has been destroyed. And I just... I don't know, man. I don't know. But for now, Mizea, we drop off all of our excess products. And, uh, and then we continue on to Of Castle. I believe there is a siege at Varagos Castle as well. Oh, it's not just a siege anymore. It's a full-on assault. 750 soldiers versus 151. Isaiah. Oh, this was a mistake. Don't know if we can cross over here. Yeah, we can cross up there. Oh, it'll take us some time to get over here. I think, uh, I think Varagos Castle is lost. Also, all of these raids being highlighted is not, uh, not great. The, the sieges being highlighted is fantastic. I'm glad they've done that, but raids being highlighted as well, not, uh, not as needed. Up to Isaiah. Brotherhood of the Woods have contracted to fight alongside the Western Empire. Okay, fair enough. Amalgan, hold on, what's it? Amalgan of the Ishkas has been ransomed from the Kuzate, okay. Oligen has escaped from captivity, alright. We've got uh, Eckhard of the Brotherhood over here. Not worth speaking to. We're at war with you because you're serving the Western Empire, okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Vanilla is now being raided as well. Alright, troops being dropped off, prisoners being dropped off. Um, over to the Tavern District ourselves, get these Watchmen. What's the garrison like over here? Man, it's nothing. Honestly, I feel kind of bad about leaving, um... Leaving all these towns and stuff relatively undefended, but what are you gonna do, right? Alright, over to Trade. Let's go ahead and dump... Oh, I don't even know. Bunch of stuff. They, they probably won't be able to afford... Um... Enough. I don't know. I feel like I'm well over uh, encumbered here. Good. Yep, get rid of these guys as well. Don't think they're they're not that heavy, no. So back to armor. Tends to be heavier. Well, depending on what it is. Sure. Make the best use of the uh, money that gets used up. We're almost... Well, actually, we're almost there. Okay. Any, like... I wish you could organize by weight. I'm actually surprised that you still can't. Isn't that one of the standards to, like, be able to organize items by? It's weight. Awesome. Some ones, some point nines, point eight. Or ones, nines, ones. Okay, good stuff. I think uh, boots seem to be a good, good element. They have very little money left. Oh, wow. Okay. Surely there's something I can drop off. Maybe it's time to finally get rid of all the all the hides. Hides are heavy, evidently. <laughs> it was fate. Alright, let's just let's just dump them all. It's finally time. Well, I don't want to give you I don't want to be broke. We'll leave, we'll leave some hides. There we go. Perfect. Yikes. Not ideal, but what are you going to do? Alright, done here. <laughs> Moving on now. Head over. Keep an eye out for, you know, armies. 
um, <laughs> armies, mercenaries, anything that we could maybe take advantage of. Siege icons. This castle, how do we get there fastest? Might be faster to go down this way. Seems to be the case. We're not going to make it in time. We're not going to make it in time. Very well. And what what is uh, Aldhan's army doing? Engaging Garios' party. Oh, no. Oh. Okay. Holding. Uh, okay. So I guess they're fine. <laughs> that looked far from ideal, but I guess we're fine. Sven of the Ishkas has escaped captivity. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there it is. Varagos Castle has fallen. We know there's an army here, 700 strong. We have 16 days to respond to this uh, conspiracy situation. We could try and eliminate the army that's down here, I suppose, before we head up to Of Castle. If we're lucky, we'll be able to engage them. And again, just weaken the Western Empire a little bit. But we have to be very lucky. We have to go this way anyway, so it's fine. Sagan has escaped from my party. Oh, I should have... Slipped my mind to, to leave behind those prisoners. Ah, it's okay. No use crying over spilt milk. Relations continue to improve with people. Karain is winning tournaments. I will take these improved relations. Not going to complain about that. Ooh. Is the army in here right now? One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, yeah, the army might be in here right now at Saniopa. Gotta go up and then back down. More raids going on. Akios's army, how fast are you? Traveling to Amitatis. Amitatis, okay, you're headed back home, eh? Have to use some influence to keep my uh, army intact. I have to zigzag. Oh, nice, good. They've, they've traveled back. Good stuff, good stuff. Sturgeons have declared war on Volandia. Well, that's an interesting turn of events. Uh, I would like to see the Sturgeons win that. Have them uh, get a little bit of a resurgence. Wow. I was gonna mention it. That was my pause. When I saw that one army all the way back over here, that one Asurai army, I was like, haha, at least the Asurai haven't declared war on us again. And of course, there you have it. Nakar of the Asurai declares war on the Ishkas. Are you kidding me, man? Are you kidding me? How many wars can you throw my way? Alright, at least we'll be able to catch Akios' army over here. Speed of 2, ours is 2.1. Let's go. Let's get, uh... Deol out there. Come on, shut him down. I think he's gonna get there. Good stuff. Northern and Southern Empire going to war. Our own party could use a little bit of uh, shuffling over here. I believe we probably have some upgrades, maybe some prisoner recruits. Get this done before we dive into this battle. Again, I'm just hoping that this, you know, helps us even slightly. Slows the enemy down, if nothing else. Get Lancers, sure. Good stuff, good stuff, good upgrades. Alright, get some prisoners are willing to join us. Okay, quite a few actually, that's good. Make some room for new prisoners. Strengthen our numbers as well. Cool. Yeah, alright, cool. Excellent. I'll take that. Come on now, there we go, beautiful. We're all good, we're ready to dive in. I'm gonna have to spend some cohesion over here. Or, I let them go. Oh, my Zaya, come on now. You're gonna drag me back here, aren't you? Well, we have to dive in to help over here. Let's get rid of Aldhan notification. Uh, how long do we have? 14 days. 14 days, so it took us five days to come from down here up to here. Potentially another five days to come to Of Castle. Going back to Mysia took us, what, two days, maybe? We'd be cutting it close. But it might be worth a shot. Oh, we'd have to loop back, come up and around. Oh my god. Alright, well, let's deal with this battle that's ahead of us right now, and we'll, we'll cross those bridges when we get there. Up the hills party, of course. Heavily in our favor. I sincerely hope that they aren't uh, too powerful, too strong. Their troop quality, I mean. We're about to find out. Let's attack. Let's win this.
can't believe I have. I baited it. I, 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 I asked for it when I talked about three wars at the beginning of this session. Let's see what we can do over here. See if they behave differently from their uh, Zate counterparts. Archers, let's get you up over here. Give you the dismount order because apparently that's what we have to do. Do into a loose formation. Do we have any movement there? No, it looks like they're playing it rather defensively. Archers really kind of thinned out. Infantry up front. We have so many. We have way too many archers. But they're able to fire from this distance, so why should I complain? Cavalry, let's get you uh, up to over here. Horse archers up to over there. Let's go. Get you into a loose formation as well. Cavalry. We'll wedge infantry into a shield wall. Looks like their cavalry is pulling back. Yep. Decided they couldn't uh, take on our uh, archers, I suppose. Which is probably true. They would get absolutely, absolutely slaughtered. All right. Horse archers. Let's move. Time bait them out. Show our resolve. Prove that... Uh, we won't move unless we absolutely have to and try and shake theirs, right? Force them out. Hiding among the trees, it looks like. What are you, battalions? Hiding back there. Okay, all good. Horse archers. I'm closer now. Let's go. See some of the riders are coming out as well. Their own horse archers. Wave out. We worked on ourselves. Who's this you're riding with? Ooh, hit the shield. Oh, what are the chances? Pretty high, apparently. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Nice. Knocked him off their horse. That, that was pretty dope. That was pretty dope, I'm not gonna lie. That's right, abandon your horse. That shield. Come on now. There it is. Vipon is down. That was, uh... <laughs> I enjoyed that very much. I enjoyed that very much. Knocking him off his, uh, horse and then... His, his shield work, I must commend. That was definitely part of what made that so, uh, interesting. Alright, come on now, horse archers. Get some work done. Prove that the Asurai... And the Kozate make for superior ranged cavalry. Oh, I can't believe I missed him. I'm like over or I'm overestimating my uh, my glaive's uh, length. Got some cavalry up over here as well. You guys are in a circle formation. They would be hard to pull out. Draw out, rather, I should say. Euphemisms for days today. Horse archers, really tempting fate over here now. Oh, good shot. Their archers are going to start opening fire soon as well. Their cavalry is going to charge forward as well. Probably. That circle formation is keeping them safe from my arrows. Let's see if we can't kill another high value target because I spot some. This is a dangerous charge. Oof, like I said. Dangerous charge. Alright, good stuff. Horse archers getting some work done. These guys are charging in, obviously. That worked out. That worked out. That was okay. Did all right there. They're still not charging forward, though. Like they're infantry and all. Nice. Adea's down. hurt over here. We're okay. We're okay. Facing after that last, uh, I presume, noble. Oh, I was chasing after them. Now they're chasing after me. We're okay. In we go. In we go. I hit the shield. Oh, I'm gonna miss. 
lot of horseback duels this time around. I'm liking it. Nice. The horse, unfortunately. Not a clean hit there, I don't think. Pull back in. Air infantry. Certainly very willing to stay absolutely still. Nice. That will loss us down as well. Back in. Let's go. Stealing your liege's horse. I assume. Down with you. Oh, that was great. A little bit of trampling action there. Shield. The shield. A little friendly fire there as well. He's falling back. Let's go. Alright. Alright. Good stuff. There are archers I need to be a bit wary of. And of course, that contingent as well. Pulling back. A little adventurous today. Let's go. Let's go. i shut this nonsense down over here. Nice. Oh man, the, the, the knockback is <laughs> ridiculously cool. It's fun to it's fun to watch. Fun to execute, rather I should say. Nice. Oh my gosh, got ridden down. Trampled. Beautiful. Horse archers not having the best time either, but maybe they're not ideally positioned, I suppose. Get them up over here. Buddy, who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? You answered a dead man. Correct. There we go. Right, horse archers are up over here now, firing down. You can see one last noble. Well, I, I assume noble. In the middle over there. Are many of you out of ammo? Seems to be the case. What is... Oh. Well, when did I... That's my bad. Put them in a circle formation. This should be much better. Half of them were facing the wrong way. Of course they weren't firing. Come on now. There we go. Getting some work done. I feel like there is little risk now to moving forward. When I say that, the famous last words, right? Go. Oh. Infantry in a line formation. Make sure they're moving quickly. Cavalry come up over here as well. Let's go. First archers firing freely. Not taking too much hurt or anything. This is good. This is good. We've uh, we've we've won this battle. It's now just a matter of minimizing losses. Obviously, it's always a matter of minimizing losses. Why? We having such? Well, it's not terrible luck. They have their shields up. Shields are just doing what they need to. This guy. Who do you think you are, buddy? All right, we're okay. Getting some more kills in. Cavalry's coming through. Trying to take a couple of losses now. A little too close, maybe. Push up that way. Let's go. Firing away. Yeah, excellent. Will they change their formation? There we go. I need to pull these guys back. Researchers, let's go. Infantry and archers are all arriving now. This murderous individual is getting some work done, looks like. Bog him down. Off your horse. Come on now. Down you go. Excellent. Archers are firing away. Archers up top. Let's go. We we'll need to give the infantry a charge order soon. These guys are using a shield wall formation, so let's try and get behind them. With our horse archers over here. That's quite a few archers, actually, off in the distance. Their 155 is, is no joke. I say as they score a shot on me. Come on now, fire away. 
infantry get ready to charge. Any second now. Shield wall slows them down so much, so I want to like take advantage of the extra couple of seconds of firing I have. You can see how much work is actually getting done in those last couple of volleys. Whoa, 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 what is this? Okay. Charge command for our infantry. Horse archers, you doing alright? Yeah, they're doing okay. Reinforcements like landing on me there. Doing okay. Infantry's doing great. Cavalry's fine. Okay, this is ridiculous. This this reinforcement spawn is ridiculous. It's like the ideal spot for the enemy. He's charging. I'm just trying to like, keep these guys on the ground over here. Cavalry, your charge command as well. They just get so like spread out, you know? Archers charge, go for it. Cavalry charge as well, go for it. Shut them down, close the gaps, force the archers to use uh, melee. They have significantly lower tier archers, I'm fairly certain. You know what? Get Valdem out. Gotten so used to uh, my siege approach that uh, sometimes easier to just be on, on foot. Who do you think you are? Well done, man. Lasted longer than it needed to. 45 dead. Milos died on the battlefield. 62 wounded. Sorry, that was like a, a disjointed little conversation there. Milos died on the battlefield. 45 of our own dead. 62 of our own wounded. Alright, 83 leveled up. Did okay. Did okay. Man, mobiles are... Continue to die. They continue to die. That's all I'll say to that. The hill thanks me for uh, saving him, I suppose. Rakan Vipon, you're my prisoner. You are indeed at my mercy. All of these prisoners, 129 prisoners. I can take some on. I don't think I quite want to. They're not really the best. The Vigla recruits are nice because they become Imperial Elite Cataphracts, but that's so far down the line. We'll have better soldiers at other times, I think. Yeah. Somebody else can take them. I don't need to be slowed down. Any more than I already am. Pick up all the loot. Oh, God. We are at our limit. Pick up a horse. Palfrey, the trotter, sure. And what? What over here is worth picking up? Some butter. Cheese, some beer. Everything else is trash. Grab a cow. Grab some sheep. They don't slow us down or anything. I mean, they, they do, but not, sorry, they, they, they slow us down, but they don't add to our weight, is what I mean. They slow us down through the herd issue. Alright, wow, this is the first time in a long time that I've left loot behind. Alright, good stuff. Milos has died. Let us uh, give him his due uh, respects, if I can find the right one. Oh, hey, what are the chances? Milos was an archon of the Western Empire. He died in battle in 1105 at the age of 60. He was reputed to be decent and kind. Not much left here. Just tin ups. Alright. Now the question is do we ride back to protect Mysia? The siege camp has not yet been built, so that means there is time. But remember how quickly Kalatild took Mysia back? Just as quickly. Just as quickly. I suspect the uh, Kuzate, I imagine they're the ones who are putting the siege on. Uh, they'll, they'll probably take it back as well. So that's a little nerve-wracking. Eronix's army still stands. Ooh, hang on. Defending Mysia. Oh, okay. I really... There was some talk in the comments of, uh, of in the future being able to tell armies what to do, being able to designate them to certain tasks and whatnot. Doesn't seem like that's now, but hopefully it comes soon, because honestly, I would much prefer Eronix keep applying the pressure to Akasar Castle. Because I feel that he won't arrive at Mysia in time. But, but but do I trust him? Do I just leave it to him? Otherwise, his abandoning of Akasar Castle's siege would have been useless. Maybe I do just move on to uh, Of Castle and deal with the uh, conspiracy up over here. The Asurai have declared war on us as well, so Gauss Castle 
is also a threat now. All that's left of them. Oh, no. oh you know what? Maybe they've put Mysia under siege. <laughs> hmm. Didn't think of that possibility, but maybe. I should have finished them off when I had the chance that one time. Though, really, that was an expensive, expensive... Uh, Convincing of our vassals. Over here, traveling to Hongard Castle. Fair enough. God, so many raids. It's just absolutely... Absolutely... Mad. How much is going on all at once. Raids, though. I mean, that's fine. The sieges, the wars. It's endless. It's endless. Unlike this episode. Which is actually going to end right now, folks. I hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content, what I do more or less of, how I go about doing it. Again, I'm sure y'all are very familiar with my process by now. My hope is that next session we will, uh, yeah, I guess march up to Of Castle. We cause some more damage to the uh, Western Empire. See what we can do if we can't convince them to, uh, we're, we're not going to get any peace here. There will be no peace. We'll... Cross that and several other bridges, I'm sure, next time. Folks, as always, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, I bid you farewell.